I am the head coach and general manager with the Grand City Lumberjacks. We are a junior hockey team that basically for players 16 to 20. So this is kind of a, an opportunity for players to come and develop to get better at their game, kind of develop their skills. And for the most part, it's guys that are out of high school, but before college. Name's DJ Vold, I'm 19. I play center currently, and I'm from Byron, Minnesota. Um, my name's TJ Christensen. I'm from Wisconsin, Anago, Wisconsin. It's like central Wisconsin area, it's a small town. Um, I'm nine, uh, 20 years old, turned 21 in February, so it's my last year of juniors. Aaron Azevedo, I'm 17, I'm from Washington, Spokane, Washington, and I play left wing. My name's Cody Chiriton, I'm from Selma, Oregon, I'm 19 years old, and uh, I play center. Uh, our season begins the day after Labor Day, and then we'll go all the way till probably mid-April, and we're practicing, you know, three, four days a week, playing two or three games on the weekend. Um, so it's a long season. We play 48 regular season games and then playoffs. So like typically we'll play about 60 games during the year, which compared to, let's say, someone at Minnesota High School, they're playing 24 regular season games and then maybe six in playoffs. So it's almost like you're getting two, two full seasons in one season of junior hockey. Last year, I had two, two of my buddies from my hometown played here. Um, one played here for two years and moved on to play college hockey. Said he loved to hear. Coach Willen is a great guy. Coach Howie, you know, they all do good things for you to move you on to the next level. So I got good word from those two. Ended up talking to the coach and just things worked out. Ended up moving here. Favorite part I'd have to say is all the fans, just the camaraderie of the team. Just everyone, it's like a family. And then the uh, problems I face is I'd say school. I go to school right after practice, then I go home and I have online schooling, and then usually team workout, and then I'm done for the day and then start over every day. And it's just really exhausting on the body. Well, we made a change this past season from the Minnesota Junior Hockey League over to the North American Three Hockey League, and we made that decision. It was a business decision, um, felt that, and also felt that it would be better for our players, more exposure for them. We have teams ranging you know, from the Minnesota area all the way out to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it's a huge league, it's 16 teams, and the competition is just a little bit higher than what we faced last year in the Minnesota League. It's different because I've never been like this far away from home before. That's one thing. And um, you know, just like I said, being around all the guys and stuff, you don't, you don't get to be a part of a family like this in any other sport. And uh, I think I'm gonna benefit just from all the hard work and just everything we put into it, it's gonna help me out later in life. Well, I think, you know, we had a, we coming off a very successful season last year where we won the regular season championship and the playoff championship. Um, we were a little disappointed with our play at nationals. So I think kind of going into this year, we have some, you know, a good core of veterans that came back. So we have, I think, 10 or 11 veterans that came back from last year's team. So I think the biggest adjustment for these guys is the change in the leagues. You know, it's a, it's a different, level of play so now this year you know they realize that they have to show up and play every game which is going to prepare them for college they can't take any nights off you take a night off in this league you're going to lose you know and i know it's an old cliche but that's exactly what they're getting right now we get treated very well here and they're looking to make us better better hockey players and better people so everywhere else i've been it's kind of just been hockey but here they care about you as an individual and as a hockey player i mean we're excited for the season and you know, right now, being halfway through the year um, and being in first place in our division, we're happy with that.